Growing up, I just was a happy little girl. I was bubbly, joyful, goofy, and just full of life. I just always saw the bright side of anything that came my way. But it's like, in a flip of a switch, I didn't recognize myself anymore. It's like everything I had envisioned, it didn't happen. I had this certain image going into college that, you know, I was going to focus on myself, my grades, and just focusing on the career path that I wanted to choose. So, um, when I first got to college, um, I wound up being in a relationship. And as many people say that, you know, you're not supposed to go to college in a relationship because things just don't work out. But I'm always just a firm believer that, you know, everything may not go that way or I like to see things for myself or go through the motions by myself. But um, so I wound up being in a relationship and I feel like I'm becoming, well, I feel like I'm a person where I put others before me. Like I don't, if I really do care for someone or if I really do love them, I don't think about myself at all. So he was going through a lot of things mentally and physically and my first year being in college as a freshman I got homesick a lot I felt like I wasn't gonna make friends that were just like me and I didn't want to feel alone majority of the time so I kind of attached myself on to him because, you know, we went through, well, we was in high school together, so I felt like, okay, you know, I'm walking into college with somebody that I already know that I can be around 24-7, so I don't feel left alone. But over time, I started seeing that he wanted to live a certain life that I didn't want. He started doing things towards me that made me feel very insecure or just made me feel like I wasn't doing enough for him. So that caused me to stop focusing on myself and to just make him happy in every way possible. Things ended up not working out. And when I broke things off, I started back writing about my thoughts because I figured it would help me during my healing process. But turns out it only made things worse for me. And eventually I was looking for other ways to cope with what I was going through just to make me feel happy again. It wasn't a lot of healthy coping I was doing, but it was things that I felt fitted me at the moment. And I knew it wasn't right because the way I was raised, like I wasn't raised to do things like that, but I felt like I was in such, I, I felt like I was just such in a hole and I wanted to get out of it. So I was willing to do anything just to make me feel happy again. But then over time I realized it just turned me into somebody that I, like it came at one point in time where I would look at myself in the mirror and I didn't know who I was. Um, so yeah, if I had to tell the high school me would be to really, to stay focused on yourself, stop putting others before you, learn that everybody is not your friend and to just don't be afraid to be yourself. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't reached the stage of being fully happy, but I am happier than I was in the past. I've been on a better journey personally and academically. I finally achieved my goal of getting my own apartment and learning what it takes to be independent. Academically, I've put a lot of focus into my career field and that has opened many opportunities for me to experience workshops, trainings, and festivals. I've also discovered my own brand and being able to film many different news packages, podcasts, and even weddings. I'm becoming the woman I thought I never could be. In life, you run into people that are going to try to break you, but it's up to you to learn what environment and people aren't meant for you. It's not an easy process. But it will be worth it knowing that you are building to be a better woman for yourself and the people that you're surrounded by.